Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology forecast for Tuesday, June 30th, 2020. All right, so a lot going on here astrologically today. Uh, first of all, we do have the moon shifting from improvement-oriented Virgo, shifting into more balancing and relating Libra. So as the day unfolds, really good to see how things can be brought into balance in our life and also maybe get into some of that relating and cooperating kind of energy uh, with Libra, probably noticing themes with those things. Now today we do have Jupiter over Pluto, so transformations collectively to our perceptions, Maybe some deep things arising that we can empower ourselves with. Excellent day for uh, personal empowerment. And uh, the Sun and Mercury conjoining, marking the halfway point of the Mercury retrograde. So there could be maybe some shifts of perspective regarding anything that you've maybe been mulling over the past roughly week and a half. Maybe rethinking, redoing, maybe a shift with those things. Now that Sun Mercury is going to be squaring up to Chiron, making it a great day for healing of all types. And also sextiling up to Uranus, making it great for thinking outside the box. Maybe inducing a little bit of change, uh, challenging the status quo a little bit and uh, seeing how we can access more of our true selves. All right, so let's take a look at all this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here is the sky for this Tuesday. And again, we are using the visible sky called True Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, definitely check out the link down below for more information because you will notice a lot of the signs that I'm mentioning are different from mainstream astrology. All right, so a lot going on with the aspects here today, a lot of aspects converging, which we'll talk about. But let's first take a look here at the theme of the day. So the first part of the day is still very much good for improvement. Uh, we've had the moon in Virgo the past few days, making it great for things that require self-discipline, doing the work, and that improvement sort of nature. But as the day unfolds, we'll likely notice themes going into tomorrow around balance with the moon in the scales of Libra, making it great for seeing both sides of the coin, walking that middle path. And when it comes to relating, same thing, finding that cooperative approach, doing the right thing, maybe some themes around justice, morality, and what's fair with the moon in Libra. Now we are starting to build some momentum in the lunar month uh, coming out of this first quarter. Uh, the past uh, few days, really, the uh, we've been in the first challenges of the lunar cycle of this very important solar eclipse cycle. But now we're starting to notice some momentum coming into the gibbous phase where there's a little bit more support between where the sun is and where the moon is. So a little bit of momentum, wind in our sails. And in this case, I think it's still great to be focused on how can we cultivate this Gemini energy of learning, of developing our communication, uh, being willing to share and exchange with others, um, get into more of this um, flexible and adaptive energy, which is especially good with Mercury retrograde. So we'll notice some support with that as the moon shifts into Libra, since Libra is also an air sign, making it great for, again, relating and balance and fairness, um, all in the maybe communicative sphere or willing to learn and exchange sphere, which is great at this time. Now, <clears throat> with that being said, we do have the Sun and Mercury conjoining going into tomorrow meaning this is the halfway point of the mercury retrograde and so usually a great time to do a bit of a status check in regards to what we've been mulling over or rethinking or redoing this past roughly week and a half so with the sun uh, taking the dominant energy here right we wouldn't see mercury in the sky it is good to bring some extra attention to mercury things like the communication here today just to make sure that everything does get conveyed correctly or you know with clarity and with conscious awareness and also anything we could be thinking about great day for bring, bringing observation to the mind self-awareness meditation anything that helps us become more aware of the thought processes right can help balance out this energy just to make sure the sun isn't taking too much of the dominant force which is the passion the self-expression the energy the fierceness of the sun that we do have that extra attention on all things regarding gemini and mercury communication correspondence mental thinking things on that level great to bring extra conscious attention with which is already really the case anyways with mercury retrograde but again with this um, fiery energy of the sun great to do that here today all right but with this could come some shifts of awareness and perspective again the halfway point of the mercury retrograde 
Now that conjunction is going to be squaring up to Chiron. So this might be a little bit minor to that, but I would say it's a great day for healing of all types, either physical or spiritual or mental or emotional. Uh, really good to challenge ourselves towards that with this uh, conjunction squaring healing Chiron. And especially if there is anything that will bring in more peace into our life, right? With Chiron and Pisces, spiritual activities, uh, maybe getting some rest, some more receptive time it could be good for healing. And that's also how we're getting things done at the moment with Mars and Pisces. Taking that more receptive approach is great. All right, but along with that uh, conjunction, we do have a sextile up to Uranus with the Sun and Mercury. Uh, nothing major as well with this one, but maybe an opening for mixing some things up a little bit today. Uh, great to see how we can induce some change to <clears throat> maybe communicate and express ourselves in a way that's a little bit outside of the norm or of how we're used to doing it or, you know, is a bit progressive or visionary, right? Uranus represents more of our true self that is free and does want to express our uniqueness. And so it's a great day to do that either with ourselves or with our routines or possibly with our relationships as we do have that moon shifting into Libra. All right, so that's the most important stuff aside from, of course, the collective energy that uh, we do have, which is Jupiter conjunct Pluto. I think from a larger perspective, today is great as it was, you know, recently these past few days to shift perspectives, right? If there is anything that we're removing, some past beliefs, past perspectives, maybe just past things in our life in general, but probably Jupiterian things that, you know, deal with our beliefs, perspectives, philosophy, uh, travel, higher learning, things like this. But anything that uh, we do want to strip away to allow for the new beginnings, excellent excellent part of the week to do this uh, this is a collective transformation taking place it started back on april 4th and now it's a nice step in the right direction to empower ourselves how can we maybe do some things that we normally wouldn't do because we're inhibited or afraid or maybe there's some unconscious things blocking us from doing that that we can be aware of and you know really do here with this uh, conjunction jupiter can really magnify pluto energy making it super good for all forms of self-empowerment, facing fears, transformation, and again, like I said, that restructuring process, which has really been the case this year. All right, everyone, so that's the day in a nutshell. Most important thing is, of course, Jupiter over Pluto, as we just discussed. We do have the Sun and Mercury conjunct, making it great for this status check, this halfway point of the Mercury retrograde, and bringing extra conscious intention and attention to our thoughts and communications. And the theme here today, we do have the moon shifting from improvement oriented Virgo, going into more balancing, fair, and just Libra, um, the later part and going into tomorrow. All right, so everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click that like button if you haven't yet. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily videos, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the next daily forecast. Take care.